Let's go. Amen. Have your way tonight, oh God. Have your way tonight. Have your way tonight. Have your way tonight. Have your way tonight, oh God. Have your way tonight. Have your way tonight, oh God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want to welcome every last one of you tonight to this live broadcast where Jesus Christ is Lord, where God is still confirming the word, which signs, wonders, and miracles follow in the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power. Hey, somebody shout power. Shout power. Come on, church. Shout power. Come on, shout it again. Shout power. It is the power of God on the salvation. Come on and help me praise him tonight. Come on and help me bless him. Help me give him the praise. Help me give him the glory. Help me give him the honor tonight. Yeah, yeah. We love you, Jesus. God, pour your spirit out tonight. Pour the Holy Ghost out tonight. Let the fire fall tonight. Let the fire fall. Let there be a flood tide of the anointing of the Holy Ghost be poured out upon us tonight. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. God, we pray against that hurricane that's headed towards North Carolina. We rebuke that thing in the name of Jesus. We pray you dispatch your angels, God. Protect your people all along the East Coast that's threatened by that hurricane. We pray for divine protection over the people of God. We pray over those states. We cover them in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we pray you stop it. We pray you shut it down. We pray there be no damage. There be no loss of life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you say whatever we ask, you will do it that Jesus may be glorified. Do it, God. In the name of Jesus. And visit your people here tonight. That's a part of this live broadcast. Pour the Holy Ghost out. Let signs, wonders, and miracles follow. Heal the sick. Cast out devils. Save souls tonight. Break shackles. Lift burdens tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way tonight, God. Have your way tonight, oh God. Have your way tonight. Have your way tonight. Have your way tonight, God. Have your way, Lord. Come on, somebody say, say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. Hallelujah. Yes. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah. Oh, help me give him the praise. Help me give him the praise. Help me give him the praise tonight. Help me give him the praise. Glory to God. God is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill, church. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never, ever don't give up on God. Listen, because he won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, come on, hit it. Oh, 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 oh. we love you, Lord. Sing. Oh, 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 we love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, come on and help me worship him tonight. Listen, I feel like God's up to something tonight. I just want you to invite your friends right now. Invite friends, invite your family members. 
to be a part of this live broadcast. I believe God's about to do something powerful here tonight. Come on, just invite your friends through WhatsApp, through Facebook, through YouTube, through Snapchat, through LinkedIn. Just invite your friends to be a part through Pinterest. I believe God want to do something powerful tonight. You don't want your friends to miss out on what God's about to do. Come on, sing with me. God is able. Sing. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you, cause he's able. Oh, come on! Oh, 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 oh. he's able. He's able, church. Oh, 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 oh. the God I serve is able. The God I serve is able. The God you serve is able tonight. He's able to deal with it. Whatever you're facing tonight. God is able. Somebody shout it. God is able. Yes, he is. Shout it tonight. God is able. He's able. Sing God is able. God is able to do. Just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Cause he's able to oh, sing it. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, give him a clap off in the night. Oh, 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 we love you, Lord, we love you, Lord, we love you, Jesus, come on and help me give him the praise, sing, cause he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, sing it, he's able, he's able, he's able, He's able, yes, Lord. God is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on my God. Cause he won't give up on you Cause he's able Oh, 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 oh. He's able Sing it, church Oh, 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 oh. Sing God is able God is able to do Just what he said he would do He's gonna fulfill He's going to fulfill every promise to you. I don't care what the devil say. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. Because he's able. Oh, 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 We love you, Lord. Sing and touch. Oh, 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 oh. Cause he's able, 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 sing it, he's able, he's able, he's able, yes Lord, yes Lord. Mighty God! Ramanda la baramanda la bosata. Rokoto rabasata. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. 
We love you, Lord. Cause he's able. Cause he's able. He's able. He's able. Come on, help me give him the praise tonight. Cause he's able. He's able. He's able. Come on, sing it. He's able. God. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you, because he's able, oh, 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 oh. Help me give him the glory. Oh, 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 oh. He's able to sing it. Oh, 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 oh. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. God, we love you tonight. With everything in us tonight, God. With everything in us tonight. With everything in us. That's great. With everything in us tonight. We love you, Lord. Help me give him the praise tonight. Help me give him the glory tonight. Help me give him the glory tonight. Yes, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Come on, put your hands together. Let's give him a clap offering tonight. Let's give him a clap offering tonight. Yes, we love you, Lord. Give him a clap offering tonight. Give him a clap offering tonight. Mighty God. 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 Isn't he a mighty God tonight? We love you, Lord. Mighty God. Mighty God. Sing it! Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Sing it! Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Come on! Mighty God, just help me give him the praise. Help me give him the glory. Help me give him the honor tonight. Mighty God. Mighty God. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I cover your people tonight in the blood of the Lord Jesus. I cover your people tonight. I bind every devil, every demon, every evil spirit on assignment against your people tonight. We cancel the plans of the enemy tonight. We dispatch your angels, God, to God over your inheritance. God, I apply the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ to your people tonight. We love you, Lord. Yes, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost tonight. Feel the anointing. Someone shout anointing. Someone shout anointing. Anointing of the Holy Ghost is here. Anointing of the Holy Ghost is here. Anointing. 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 Yes, Lord. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Yes, Lord. Come on and help me give him a praise tonight. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Come on, help me worship him tonight. We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you tonight. God, we worship you. We magnify you. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the great I am. You are the resurrection and the life. You are the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the wonderful Counselor, the Prince of Peace tonight. We love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Come on, just love on the Lord right where you are tonight. Forget about everybody around you. Just lift your hands to heaven. Just begin to love on the Lord. Come on, begin to pour your hearts out to Him. Begin to pour your hearts out to the Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Yeah, we love you, Lord. Yes, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. 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 We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. Hurra, mama, na 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 na. Shanda, la ba la ba na 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 la la bosa. Ruko tu la ba la ba la ba na la bosa ne. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Come on and love on the Lord tonight. Love on Jesus. Love on Him tonight. Love on the Lord tonight. Come on, just reverence the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We love you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. Come on, worship Him in spirit and truth tonight. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you tonight, Master. We love you. We love you tonight, Jesus. We love you tonight. We love you tonight. Lord, we love you, Jesus. We love you. We love you tonight. We love you tonight. To God. To God. Be the glory. To God. Be the glory. To God be the glory for the things He has done with His blood, with His blood He has saved me with His power, mighty God tonight. You have raised me to God be the glory 
for the things he has done. To God be the glory. Sing it. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory for the things he has done with his blood sing it with his blood with his blood with his blood he have saved me with his power with his power he raised me mighty God he raised me to God to God be the glory for the things he has done. To God be the glory, sing it, church. To God be the glory, sing it. To God be the glory to God be the glory for the things he has done with your blood with your blood you have saved me with your power you have raised me to God be the glory for the things he has done God will make a way mighty God a way where there seems to be no way forever sing it forever he is faithful he will make a road when you bear a heavy load he knows what you're dealing with tonight I know God will make away sing it to the lord tonight sing it god will make a way when there seems to be no way forever forever he is faithful he will make a road when you bear a heavy load I know God will make a way. Sing it to him just one more time. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Forever he is faithful. Forever he is faithful. He will make a road when you bear a heavy load I know God will make a way Spirit of the living God Spirit of the living God fall afresh on me Spirit of the living God fall afresh on me melt me melt me 
mold me, fill me, use me, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Come on, let's put our hands together and give Him praise tonight. We serve a good God tonight. Come on, give it up for Jesus tonight. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, we love you, we love you. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, Ramando Lobo Satanabandanabase. Oh, we love you, we love you, we love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God tonight. Mighty God. Mighty God tonight. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, help me give him praise tonight. Help me give him praise tonight. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God. Oh, we love you, we love you, we love you. We love you, we love you, we love you. Glory to God. Mighty God tonight. Mighty, mighty, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, I'm excited to be here with you guys on tonight. I want to say a big thank you to all of you that's tuning into this live broadcast on tonight. And on tonight, we are talking about releasing the power of God. We're going a little deeper. We're going into part two of waiting on God. But on tonight, we're focusing on releasing the power of God. Amen? I want you to put it up there for me, son. So on tonight, we're talking about releasing the power of God. Because when you wait on God, when you wait in the presence of God, something powerful begins to happen. We started talking about this on Sunday night. And there's no way you can cover this whole topic in just one session. Impossible. So we are moving into part two tonight and possibly part three on Sunday. Because this is a very important topic in your walk and in your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So Father God, as we are about to go into the word of God tonight, speak to your people tonight. Minister to your people tonight. Encourage your people. Give them answers tonight. Bring direction into their lives tonight. And have your way, God. Be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody say a good amen. Someone say a good amen right there. Now look, on Sunday night, on Sunday when we started this topic, we went into the, we, we talked about the benefits of, of waiting on God and we looked at the life of David. We also looked at how God's counsel was revealed in the life of David as he waited on God and sought God for direction. And also we talk about another benefit of waiting on God. We see it manifested in the life of Elijah, the prophet. Did you switch it? In the life of Elijah, the prophet, when Elijah was battling a heavy spirit of discouragement because that witch, that wicked queen Jezebel, she sent a messenger with a demonic message 
And when Elijah heard the message that she wanted to kill him, this man had just experienced his greatest victory, called fire down from heaven, wiped out 850 prophets of Baal, totally destroyed them, one man with God. But when Jezebel sent that demonic message to Elijah, it struck fear in his heart, and a spirit of discouragement gripped Elijah, and Elijah had to go, he had to get, he had to leave his servant somewhere and go and get alone with God. The angel came and appeared to Elijah twice and encouraged him to eat this food because he was about to go on a 40 day fast. And as a result of fasting and seeking God for 40 days and 40 nights, the spirit of God, the spirit of God came on Elijah and that spirit of discouragement was broken from off of Elijah. So we see that the counsel of God was revealed as a result of waiting on God. And then we see that the spirit of discouragement was broken as a result of waiting on God. And on tonight, what I want to focus on here is how the power of God is released as a result of me and you waiting on God, seeking the face of God. When I say waiting on God, I'm talking about spending serious time alone with God in prayer, in the secret place, in your prayer closet. I'm talking about shutting everybody down, shutting the phone off, shut that crazy television off, shut the computer down, shut whatever off you need to, turn that worship music on and set time aside for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Now what we are focusing on tonight is the power of God is released as a result of waiting on God. And not only that, demonic strongholds are broken and deliverance take place in the lives of other people as a result of you willing to pay the price and wait on God. So I want to take you into the book of Luke chapter nine. If you got a Bible with you, I want you to turn that Bible to the book of Luke chapter 29. We are about to dig into the word of God on tonight. And I really want to take my time because I want you to get what the Holy Ghost is trying to impart to you. I want you to get what the Holy Ghost is trying to teach you. God wants to revolutionize your life. God wants to change your life. And it's not going to happen by everybody praying for you and laying hands on you. It's going to happen by you seeking God for yourself. It's okay to have other people believe in God with you and praying with you. But there comes a time and a point in your life where you need to grow up and get alone with God in the secret place. Are you listening to me? So listen to this word. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, before we go into the word, speak to your people, minister to your people. We pray for a spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We pray for revelation. We pray for impartation to take place in the lives of your people. God, let, let something come from out of the word of God tonight under the anointing of the Holy Ghost to break every shackle and change their lives tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. Now watch this. Let's go into the book of Luke chapter 9. We are going to read from verses 28 down to 43. And I'm going to detour and go into several other scriptures. Listen to this. The Bible says, And it came to pass about eight days after Jesus had just finished teaching on on the Beatitudes and teaching how we need to deny ourselves and take up our cross daily and follow him. The Bible says Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, and they went up into a mountain to pray. Now this is very powerful. This is Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. All power and authority is in his hands. And we see Jesus being a perfect example of how to live a successful Christian life, a productive Christian life. Look at what Jesus did. He took time apart from his busy schedule and he took Peter, James, and John with him. These were his most trustworthy disciples and they went up into a mountain to pray. What was he doing? He was separating himself from the busyness of everyday life 
to go and seek the face of God. You got to remember this as well. Jesus was also led by the spirit of God. He didn't just jump up and do stuff to be seen or heard of men. When Jesus did something, it was very strategic. He was being led by the Holy Ghost. Are you listening to me? And trust me, you know the flesh ain't going to lead you <laughs> to go set time apart to get alone with God. You know the flesh is not going, the flesh is not going to lead you on some fast. <laughs> Nowhere in this world. If you have a desire to get alone with God, that's the Holy Ghost at work in your life. If you have a de desire to fast and pray and get alone and worship God, that's the work of the Holy Ghost alive in your life. Now watch this. So I want you to see this. So Jesus set time apart to go into a mountain to spend time alone with God. And there comes a place in your life where it is okay to take your your closest friends with you into that secret place because you, you are of the same heart, you are of the same mind, and of the same vision. Are you listening to me? Listen to this. The Bible says this in verse 29. Oh my gosh, this is very powerful. I want you to pay attention to this. The Bible says, as he prayed, you will notice that if, as you read and study the book of Luke, Luke focused more on the prayer life of the Lord Jesus than any other person that followed his ministry. And as he prayed, the Bible says the fashion of his countenance was altered and his clothes began to glow right in the front of his disciples. Listen, now this, this is a powerful sentence here. Notice what the Bible says. As he prayed, his countenance was changed. Listen here, friends. As you spend time in the secret place with God, serious change begins to take place in your life. I shared a little bit more about that on another broadcast when I talked about they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. That word renew means an exchange begins to happen between you and God. He begins to take away your weakness and he begins to impart his strength. He takes away your weakness and he imparts his power. He takes away your confusion and he imparts supernatural wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Are you listening to me? So the first thing we see in the life of Christ is as a result of waiting on God in prayer, your whole life begins to change. Your countenance begins to change. Are you listening to me? Now watch this. The Bible says his countenance was altered right before their eyes and his clothes begin to lit up. His clothes begin to glow. Now I want to read something to you because this happened in the life of Moses. Let me read this to you. This happened in the life of Moses. I want to turn to the book of, I'll come back to Luke chapter 9, but I want to take you into the book of Exodus chapter 34, verses 27 through 31. Let's go to Exodus chapter 34, verse 27. Listen to this. Now I want to jump right into verse 28. Sorry about that. Verse 28 says, this is Moses in the mountain seeking God. And he was there with the Lord. Listen good. 40 days and 40 nights. Now this is my kind of guy right here. This man was the leader of over 6 million people. Brought them from under Egyptian bondage. Now Moses is leading them there on the journey through the wilderness on the way to the promised land. And if there is anybody that was busy, it was Moses. Because Moses had a church of more than 6 million people. That's a lot of folks. 6 million people. And yet, Moses could find time to seek the face of God. Don't tell me you were more busy than Moses. Because you ain't leading no 6.5 million people. And this man with his busy schedule can set 5.5 weeks aside to seek the face of God. Now watch this. I know you got to work, but don't tell me you can't set time apart for God. Now watch this. The Bible says, and he was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. Now this was a supernatural fast. 
he did neither eat bread nor drink water. This man did not eat anything, nor did he drink water. Look, it's impossible for you to live without bread and water 40 days and 40 nights unless God supernaturally sustains you with his power and with his presence. Moses waited before God in the raw presence of God for 40 days and 40 nights. Now watch this. He didn't eat bread, not drink water. And God wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. And it came to pass, verse 29, and it came to pass when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in his hands, when he came down from the mountain, Moses did not realize that his face was shining while he began to talk with the children of Israel. This man's flesh, his skin began to glow with a bright light. Man, some of you would have thought that was a ghost and broke off a running. But listen to this. The Bible says Moses did not even realize that his, his face was shining with like a bright light coming off of it. Listen to the next verse. Verse 30. The Bible says, And when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face was shining, they were afraid to come close to Moses. And Moses called unto them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation, they returned to him and Moses talked with him. Moses' face was shining so bright that what they had to do, they had to take a piece of cloth and cover Moses' face because the power and the presence of God was so emanating from off this man's body. This blows my mind. Now watch this. I want to take you back into the book of Luke. <coughs> Excuse me. What I want you to realize is waiting on God is the price that God wants you to pay. Now watch this. Luke chapter 9, we're going into verse 30. The Bible says, verse 29, that as Jesus prayed, the fashion of his countenance was changed and his clothes began to glow. His skin and his clothes just begin to glow with a bright light. Listen to verse, listen to verse 30. And behold... There appeared with him and talked with him two men, which were Moses and Elijah. These men had already left the earth for more than 2,000 years ago. Are you listening to me? And Jesus got so deep into that prayer time with God to the point that Moses and Elijah physically appeared and they begin to talk with the Lord Jesus Christ. That ought to give you some great comfort. Some of you who have family members that were serving God and have went on before, you they have already died some years ago, you don't have to worry about them if they were serving God and died right with God. They are alive and well right now in a place called heaven. The apostle Paul said, absent from this body, we will be present with the Lord. I got a mom up there. I got a dad up there. Are you listening to me? I got a grandma up there. I got a grandpa up there. No doubt many of you listening to this broadcast, there comes times in your life where you miss your parents who used to be on this earth and they have died and gone on before you. But you need to know they might not be alive here on this earth, but they are alive in the presence of God this very second. Are you listening to me? So the Bible says Moses and Elijah appeared to the Lord Jesus Christ. So as a result of waiting on God, God began to change you. He began to change everything about you. Are you listening to me? Not only did God change everything about you, but as you wait on God and you you make this a daily practice, you practice the presence of God by waiting on God, spending private time alone with God or with some friends. It's okay to bring some very close friends who are not carnal folk who want to help you seek God. That's absolutely fine because Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John. Two are better than one in some cases. So as he prayed, not only the countenance, not only his countenance was changed, 
but his clothes begin to glow. And then he began to have a supernatural experience. Moses and Elijah appeared to the Lord Jesus Christ. You know the Bible says Daniel was on a 21 day fast. Daniel got so deep into prayer that the angel Gabriel appeared to Daniel. Daniel said when Gabriel appeared, I fell on my face as one that was dead. And he put his hand on me and picked me up by the right hand so that I would receive strength. So as you begin to wait on God, you will begin to have supernatural experiences in that time with God. You are not seeking God for supernatural experiences. That's not why we seek God. You seek God because of your relationship with the Lord, because of intimacy. Are you hearing me? Because you want to draw closer to God, because you want to get to know him. And in some cases, as you are waiting in the presence of God, God chooses to, uh, to open the veil up and allow you to see in the realm of the spirit. Some people will have visitation of angels. It's all through the Bible. It happened right here with Jesus as he was praying, Moses and Elijah appeared to him. In another place, when he was in the garden of Gethsemane, the Bible says, Jesus, the, the, the prayer was so intense that his blood became a sweat and there appeared an angel of the Lord strengthening the Lord Jesus Christ. So there is a place there is a place you come to in waiting on God where visitation begins to happen, where supernatural experiences and occurrences begin to take place, not because you are some big shot, but because God begin to trust you with that level of relationship with him. The Bible says the secret of the Lord is with those that fear him. God is looking for people that fear him. God is looking for people in this generation that he can trust. He's not looking for the person who is willing to become the next big shot. God is looking for the person that wants to love him with all of their hearts. He's looking for someone that he can trust, that he can, that he can empower, that he can trust with his power and his glory and his presence, and they will not take the glory or the credit for themselves. Are you listening to me? Just let me live. Come on, just play that for me real quick. Just let me live, my God, my life, ha. that it may be pleasing, Lord, to Thee. And if I gain any praise, let it go to Calvary with His blood, with His blood, mighty God. He has saved me with his power. He has raised me to God. Be the glory for the things he has done. To God be the glory. To God the glory to God be the glory to God be the glory for the things he has done with his blood with his blood have saved me with his power he have raised me to God be the glory for the things he has done listen God's looking for people that he can trust in this generation. I want to ask you a question. Can God trust you, my friend? Can God trust you with his power? Can God trust you with his presence? Are you willing to pay the price? 
Are you willing to pay the price? God is looking for someone that's willing to cooperate with the Holy Ghost that will allow the Spirit of God to lead you from all this busyness to get alone and seek the face of God. This is where breakthroughs happen. This is where miracles happen. This is where answers to prayer happen. Now watch this. So the Bible says Moses and Elijah appeared to the Lord Jesus who appeared in glory and spoke of his decease which had accomplished at Jerusalem. Moses and Elijah discussed with Jesus how he was about to go to Jerusalem and die for the sins of the world. As you seek God's face in that secret place, as you wait on God in prayer, God begins to reveal his future plans for your life. Are you listening to me? In that place, Christ knew his purpose, but in that place, Moses and Elijah appeared to him. I want you to understand this. This was happening right in the presence of the apostle Peter, James, and John. Now watch this. Verse 32 says, but Peter, man, I feel the anointing. Give me a soft flow. Just lift your hands to heaven right here. My God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Just lift your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost for a few minutes. We're about to go deep in the Word here. Yes! We love you, we love you, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Speak to us, God. Take us deeper. We love you, Lord. We love you, we love you, we love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, we love you, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Now watch this. So the Bible says in verse 32 of Luke chapter 9, But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep. And when they were awake, that's what happens. You know, when the presence of God touches down on your life, late at night, the Holy Ghost can even help cancel sleep from out of your physical body. And you would just be wide awake. If that's happening, that's a sign that God wants you to spend time alone with him. Get your Bible and get some worship music. Get up, go sit in that living room and seek his face. If that's happening to you, if late at night for no reason, you just wide awake. That's a sign the Holy Ghost want you to seek his face. God have things he want to show to you. God have plans he want to reveal to you. God is knocking on the door of your heart. He is saying, come, come spend time alone with me. Come commune with me. Come fellowship with me. Come worship me. Come, I want to be intimate with you. Are you listening to me? Now watch this. <clears throat> so when Peter saw this, the Bible says, when they were awake, they saw his glory and they saw the two men that stood with him. Peter, James, and John saw the physical appearance of Moses and Elijah speaking with the Lord Jesus Christ. They themselves as a result of the prayer life and the relationship the Lord Jesus had with his father, Peter, James, and John were able to see the glory of God manifested on a level that they had never even heard of since the time of Moses. Peter, James, and John are looking at the physical bodies of Moses and Elijah talking and communicating with the Lord Jesus Christ. This must have blew their minds. This is a real mountaintop experience. Are you listening to me? I said this is a real mountaintop experience, but this is preserved for the people that's willing to pay the price and get alone with God. This isn't just for the, this, this isn't for just the, the few, a few selected people. No, this is for whosoever will. 
Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, he said, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. If you are dealing with a season of restlessness and worried and frustration, that's a signal you need to break away from your busy schedule and get alone with God because it's in the secret place that you find rest. Jesus said, Jesus said, come unto me. He's given an open invitation for you to come to him and spend time alone with him in prayer. Come unto me, all you that are labor and heavy laden. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest. This is why some people are so restless. They need to get alone with God in the secret place. Because it's in the secret place, God will impart rest in your soul. He will impart peace. Now watch this. So Peter, James, and John, they saw Moses and Elijah speaking with the Lord Jesus Christ. These men are having a mountaintop experience. Verse 33, and it came to pass, <coughs> excuse me, and it came to pass, as they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Do you see that? It is good to get alone in the secret place. Peter said, it is good for us to be here. There's nothing bad about getting alone with God and spending time in the secret place. Are you hearing me? God is calling many people tonight that's listening to this broadcast. God is wanting you to go deeper in your walk with him. He's wanting you to go deeper in your relationship with him. It's as you get deeper in prayer and time alone with God. It's, it's in this place that revelation knowledge takes place. It's in this place where you gain a much clearer understanding of the written word of God. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that, that proceeds from out of the mouth of the living God. It's in this place where God begin to speak the scriptures to you. The scriptures come alive. Revelation knowledge, wisdom, understanding. You learn how to follow the Holy Ghost. Are you listening to me? Watch this. So Peter said, Master, in the book of Luke chapter 9, verse 33, Master, it is good for us to be here. And let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. And we know another gospel said Jesus did not permit him to do it because Peter, Peter's mind was blown. Peter looked and saw Moses and Elijah, they looked just like Jesus. They were glowing. They were in glory. Are you listening to me? It blew Peter mind. Listen to verse 34. The Bible says, while he thus spoke, there came a cloud, the same cloud that descended on Mount Sinai, the same cloud that descended on Moses' tabernacle, the same cloud that descended and was made manifest in Solomon's temple, the same cloud, the Bible says, while they spoke, there came a cloud and overshadowed them, and as they fed, the Bible says, and they fed as they entered into the cloud. That's the same cloud that led the children of Israel through the wilderness. They were led by a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Are you listening to me? He is still the same. The Bible says, God said in Malachi, I am the Lord your God. I change not. We're talking about the power and the presence of God being made manifest to those that's willing to pay the price in the secret place. Shout yes! Hallelujah. Now watch this. I want you to see this man. The cloud of God is being made manifest in the secret place. Are you hearing me? Peter, James, and John, they are seeing this with their physical eyes. Man, this would, have this would have blown me away. I wish I could have been on top of that mountain. 
with Jesus to see Moses and Elijah. I mean, my, it didn't get any better than that. You have Jesus, the son of God. You have Moses and Elijah, two of the greatest Old Testament prophets, appeared on the Mount of Transfiguration, talking with the Lord Jesus Christ. What an experience. Now watch this. The Bible says in verse 35, and there came a voice out of the cloud. This is the same voice that spoke to Moses from between the mercy seat on the Ark of the Covenant. This is the same voice. This is the voice of God. The Bible says in verse 36, and when the voice was, the Bible says in verse 35, and there came a voice out of the cloud saying, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. In this place in prayer, the voice of God becomes crystal clear. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, and there came a voice out of the cloud saying, this is is my beloved son, listen to him. My God, my God, this is breathtaking. The voice of God becomes clear in this place. You know, he said, Jesus said in the book of John chapter 10, he said, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. The apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 8 verse, verse 14, the spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Verse 16, those that are led by the spirit of God are the sons of the living God. It's in this place. Revelation knowledge is revealed to you. You begin to have supernatural experiences in that secret place of the Most High. Now watch this. The Bible says in verse 36, and when the voice was passed, Jesus was found alone and they kept it close and told no man in those days any of those things which they had seen. My God, if that was in this generation, someone would have ran out and created a Facebook page and talk about their whole experience about how they had a mountaintop. Listen, there are certain things that God revealed to you. It's not for everybody on YouTube to hear. It's not for everybody on Facebook to hear. The Bible says he who keeps his mouth keeps his life. God is looking for somebody that he can trust. You do not discuss everything that happens in the prayer closet with the whole world. It's not for everybody to know. There comes a time when you can share it, but there's a time to keep silent about it. Are you listening to me? Now watch this. I want you to pay close attention because now something is about to happen. Oh, I feel the anointing. Give me a flow. I feel the spirit of God here. Come on, just lift your hands to heaven with me. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. We love you, Lord, we love you, Lord, and all the glory. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Glory of your presence, of your presence. We your temple, we your temple. We give you reverence, Lord. We give you reverence. So arise, so arise to your rest and be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace as your presence now fills this place. Sing it to the Lord. Oh, the glory. Oh, the glory of your presence. We your temple. We your temple. We give you reverence. We give you reverence. So rise. So arise to your rest and be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace as your presence now fills this place all oh, the glory 
We your temple, we your temple, we give you reverence, give you reverence, so rise, so arise to your rest and be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace as your presence now fills this place as your presence as your presence now fills this place as your presence as your presence oh we love you we love you lord come on and worship him as your presence as your presence now fills this place as your presence as your presence oh we love you we love you lord we love you jesus oh we love you lord now fills this place now watch this I want you to see this here. Now, Jesus and his disciples are on the way down from the mountain. The Bible says these men decided we ain't sharing what happened with nobody. We ain't going to share this with a single soul. Now, listen to this. You got to understand this here. As soon as your mountaintop experience is concluded and comes to a close, there gonna be a devil waiting on you to test you. Are you listening to me? I want you to hear me real good. Because when you tap into this level of the glory and the power of God, there is a greater manifestation. Demons begin to manifest when you show up because the power and the presence of God have saturated your very existence, your spirit, soul, and body. So when you show up, the power of God will cause demons to manifest. Now watch this. The Bible says in verse 37, and it came to pass. Watch this. I want you to hear me good. And it came to pass that on the next day, when they were come down from the mountain, many people met him. You know what happened here? Jesus and his apostles were up in the mountain waiting in the presence of God for an entire day. They were up there for 24 hours. Are you listening to me? They were there paying the price in God's presence. The Bible says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snares of the fowler and the noise of pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will trust. His truth will be your shield and buckler. A thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you. Shout yes! Yes, I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Shout yes. Shout yes. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. Someone's about to get a breakthrough. Somebody is about to get a miracle. Someone is about to get a turnaround. Somebody is getting a victory. Right now, shout yes. Shout paramanda la bosata. Yeah. Now watch this. Now watch this. I love this. Listen to this. So the Bible says they were up there for 24 hours. My God. This is what I'm talking about. 24 hours waiting in the presence of God. Seeking God. 
God was getting Jesus and his apostles ready for what was about to happen when he come down that mountain. This is why we got to be led by the Holy Ghost. When God calls you to the place of prayer, when the Spirit of God is prompting you and drawing you into the place of prayer, you better run into that prayer closet because God knows that something is coming up that you will be prepared for if you spend time alone with him. If you don't spend time alone with God, what's about to happen, you will not be prepared for it. Now watch this. The Bible says in verse 38, Jesus and his apostles just came down from off the mountain. That's Peter, James, and John. My God, you talk about saturated with the anointing of God, saturated with the power of God, saturated with the presence of God, just as sensitive to the Holy Ghost as heaven. Now watch this. The Bible says, and behold, a man of the company cried out saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is my only child. I want you parents that believe in God for your children to be delivered from a demon spirit. I want you to listen to me. That devil is taking control of your children. Many of you have been writing in, Pastor Sean, pray for my son. Pray for my daughter. It's like a demon. It's like a devil. I've gotten a hold of them. My God, my God, I want you to listen real good because this word is for you. Listen to this. The Bible says that man came and he said, have mercy on my son. Listen to what he said to Jesus in verse 39. He's, I feel the Holy Ghost here. He said, and lo, a spirit taketh him. A demon have taken over my son. A devil have entered into him. And suddenly he begins to cry out and scream out loud and with strange voices. Are you listening to me? Listen, listen to this. And he suddenly begin to cry out and this demon tears him to the point that he begins to foam at the mouth and he foameth again and bruising him hardly departs from him. This demon just jumps in this boy and throws him on the ground and saliva is running from out of his mouth. Are you listening to me? And he's just wallowing on the ground, shaking on the ground. Are you listening to me here? Listen to this. And the Bible says in verse 40, this man said to Jesus, and I sought out your disciples to cast the devil, the demons from out of my boy, but they could not. Now look, I got to explain this to you. When he said, I sought your disciples, to cast the devil out of my son, and they could not. He was talking about the nine disciples. He was talking about the nine. He was not talking about Peter, James, and John. Because Peter, James, and John was in the mountain for 24 hours with Jesus, watching a communication go down with Moses and Elijah as they communicated with Jesus, and they saw God descended in the cloud, and they heard the voice of God came out of the cloud and said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So he was not talking about these three. Because when these three came down from off that mountain, I feel the Holy Ghost. They were armed and dangerous. They had on the whole armor of God. They had their loins good about with truth. They had on the breastplate of righteousness. They had their feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. They had on the helmet of salvation. They had on the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. They had up the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So these three that came down from the mountain with Jesus, Peter, James, and John, they were ready. Shout, God's getting me ready. Shout it, God. Is getting me ready. Yeah, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel like preaching tonight. I feel like preaching here. Listen here, little let the devil know. Watch this. Little let that devil know when he was challenging Jesus' nine disciples, Jesus and his other three disciples, they were on the, on the Mount of Transfiguration. Meeting with God, getting empowered.
being saturated from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet with the anointing and with the power of the Holy Ghost. Little let the devil know that help was on the way. I dare you to open your mouth and say help is on the way. Help. Help. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. I got some backup coming. It's not just any kind. It's the son of the living God. It's the lion of the tribe of Judah. It's the resurrection and the life. It's Mary's baby. It's my Jehovah Jireh. It's my Jehovah Nisi. Shout help is on the way. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Help is on the way. Someone shout help. Help. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. All of my help. You remember? My help. Sing it to the Lord. My help. My help. All of my help coming from the Lord. My help. Sing it to the Lord tonight. My help. I love you, Jesus. My help. All of my help coming from the Lord. My help. I love you, Jesus. My help. My help, all of my help coming from the Lord. My help, my help, my help, all of my help coming from the Lord. My help, I love you, Jesus. My help, my help, all of my help coming from the help is on the way. I said help is on the way. I said help is on the way. Tell the devil you may have the sun right now, but help is on the way. I've been in prayer. I've been seeking God and help is on the way. My son is about to be healed. My daughter is about to be delivered. My husband is about to get saved. My wife is about to be changed. Shout help is on the way. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now watch this. So this man said a demon is taking advantage of my son. And I brought him to your disciples, but they couldn't do it. Listen to what Jesus said in verse 41. And Jesus answering said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long Shall I be with you and suffer? How long am I going to have to put up with this kind of unbelief? Bring the boy to me. Oh, you know something getting ready to happen right now. Jesus said, bring him to me. I know exactly what to do with this devil. I got something for him. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Listen to this. The Bible says, and he, as he was yet coming, as the man was bringing his son to Jesus, the Bible says the devil threw the little boy on the ground and he began to tear him and make him shake violently. Listen here, when that man began to walk to go to Jesus, when he began to carry 
his son to Jesus. The demons got nervous. The devils, they begin to act up. They will act their worst right before God. Cast them out. The devil will act his worst right before you get your breakthrough. Right before you get your miracle. This is why you can't be quick to throw the towel in. People will desert you. They will slam doors, shut in your face. But that's a sign that your miracle is right around the corner. That's a sign that you're on the brink of a miracle. You're on the brink of a breakthrough. You're on the brink of a turnaround. Shout yes! I feel a fight coming tonight. The Apostle Paul, he said to Timothy, he said, Son, fight the good fight of faith. I drop by to tell somebody, Christianity, you walk with God. This is not a picnic. You are involved in an all out war. You are caught up in the middle of warfare. For the Bible says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Only the strong will survive. Only those that's in the secret place will overcome. Shout yes! Hey, I feel God. I feel God. That's why David said, The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He anoint my head with oil and my cup. It runs over even when I walk through the valley and the shadow of death. I fear no evil because God is with me. The apostle Paul said, if God be for us, who can be against us? I drop by to tell somebody tonight, no weapon that's formed against you and your family will be able to prosper and every tongue that rise up against you in judgment it shall be condemned the bible says when the enemy comes against you like a flood the spirit of god will raise up a standard shout yes <coughs> my god my god my god my god my god i feel a breakthrough i feel a breakthrough that devil is acting up because he knows he got but a short time he knows you about to put him under your feet because jesus said i've given you power shout power somebody shout power i've given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt you shall no weapon hey i feel the holy ghost my god my god my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. My God, my God. My God, my God. L listen here. You got to understand we ain't just talking about what we're reading in the Bible. We're talking about what we're reading in this Bible and what we walked out in our life. I remember a few years ago invited to Uganda to this government official who was allowing us to use her rental vehicle. 
She wanted me to come and dedicate her new house. She had a very big house, beautiful. They had a nice long table spread with all, I mean, the food looked wonderful. And this woman said, Pastor, before we eat, I want you to bless my house. It was a brand new house she had just moved into. She'd invited me to come and dedicate our house to the Lord. And man, I started to pray and the Holy Ghost said, why don't you just worship for a little bit before you got to be careful, man. You got to listen to the Holy Ghost. So I decided, hey, look, folks, let's just sing a few songs and worship God. Man, but as we begin to worship God, the presence of God, oh, give me my soft flow. I feel the anointing right there. As we begin to worship God in that house, the presence of God, the presence of God begin to descend. And when the presence of God begin to descend like that, I begin to hear God clearly. God spoke to me and he said, somebody, there is, a, there is a lady here who has a problem in her side. God said, they've been dealing with that problem for a long time. I want to heal them right now. So I, I gave the word. I said, look, God wants to heal some. I know I'm out of house for dinner, but I got to obey the Holy Ghost. I said, look, someone have a problem in their side. God said, ma'am, if whoever it is, come out and he will heal you right now. There's several people there. She said, well, it's not me, Pastor Sean, and it was not her other lady friend. I said, well, that means you got somebody in the bedroom. She said, oh my gosh, my adopted 15-year-old daughter is in the bedroom. She is the one that has a problem in her side. So that young 15-year-old young woman came out. She stood about three feet away from me. And I was about to lay hands on her and pray for her to get healed. The Holy Ghost said, don't do it. He said, wait. The Holy Ghost said, worship God for a few more minutes. My gosh. And we, I lift my hands and we begin to worship God. And within just, within a few, with just almost seconds into the worship as the presence of God was descending. Descending that young 15 year old, 15, that, that 15 year old young woman. The demons begin to scream and crowd. They threw that young woman about five feet away. Slammed her up against the refrigerator. The demons in her begin to cry out. And we had to, I had the pastors take the young woman sit her in a chair and hold her steady. It took two hours and 45 minutes to cast every demon out of that young woman. And when the last devil came from out of that young, she, I mean, that demon threw her on the ground violently. She was shaking, rolling over her eyes, rolled over on the white side, spit. She's foaming at the mouth like this young man I'm preaching about. They held her in that couch. And we begin to cast every devil out of that young woman. I commanded every demon to come out. It took two hours and 45 minutes. When the last demon came from out of that young woman, I watched her entire countenance, I watched her entire countenance change right before my eyes. She had the most peaceful look on her face. Led that young woman to Christ. And she was, when that demon, when that last demon came out, she was instantly healed by the power of God. Are you listening to me? And Jesus, and as that man was bringing his son to Jesus, the devil threw him down and began to tear him. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and told that devil, come out of this young man. And Jesus healed him, which meant the demons came out of the young boy. And Jesus delivered him again to his father. And the Bible says in verse 43, I just want to read the first part. The Bible says, and they were all amazed at the mighty power of God. They were all amazed at the mighty power of God. I'll tell you why the power of God was released. Because Jesus and his disciples spent 24 hours in the mountain in seeking the face of God in the presence of God in the glory of God in the anointing of the Holy Ghost they paid the price and when they came down off that mountain that devil was no match and when you spend time alone with God that devil will have to loose your children. He will have to loose your family. 
Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. I command every devil to loose your family. I command every devil to come out of your children. Loose them and let them go. Come out, devil, come out. The blood of the Lord Jesus is against you. Shout it. Say, devil, come out of my unsaved husband. Come out of my unsaved children. Come out in the name of Jesus. We take authority over every foul and unclean spirit right now. In the name of Jesus, we take authority over every principality, over every power, over every ruler of the darkness of this world, over every spiritual wickedness in high places. Keep playing soft. I feel the power of God here. I know there were a few, two blind people send me messages and ask me to pray for them. Two men that are completely blind. I want you to join your faith with me right now. I feel the power of God here. Join your faith with me right now. You blind devil, I bind you in the name of Jesus. You blind devil, come out of their eyes. Come out in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus. You devil of blindness, go. You devil of cancer, go. You devil of deafness, go. You devil of paralysis, go. In the name of Jesus. You devil of infirmity, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus. Come out, you devil, come out. Come out. You can't stay. Come out of their body. In the name of Jesus, I command you to come out. I command you to loose them. I command you to let them go. The blood of the Lord Jesus is against you. Every evil spirit, loose the people. Loose them and let them go. Right now. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over you. The Adam, I take authority over you. I take authority over you, devil. Come out! Come out! I feel a breakthrough happening here. Come out, devil, come out. Come out, come out! In the name of Jesus. Shh. Those foul and unclean spirits tormenting you in your sleep giving you nightmares. I break the power of the devil over your life. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I break that demonic attack on your life, on your family, on your health. Come out in the name of Jesus. I command you to be healed right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I command you to be healed in your body. Lift your hands to heaven. Some people are being healed. Listen. There's a woman watching me about five minutes ago. The problem in your right side completely left. You felt as if something moved from off of that right side. Check your right side. You are completely healed by the power of God. Many of you have received healings in your body. Begin to check your bodies right now. And look. Tell us what you are healed from. Tell us how long you've been dealing with that. If you were seeing a doctor, if you were on medication, be very detailed. I feel the power of God here. I feel the power of God here. I feel the power of God. Sing hallelujah, sing it. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Sing it to the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. You want it all. You have won it all for me. Death cannot hold you down. Play you are great. Some people have been healed. 
Some people have been healed. Some people have been healed. There is no one else like you. Some people have been healed. The power of God is here. Satan is no match. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Mighty God, there is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. I rebuke cancer from out of your body. I rebuke that cancer. I rebuke it. You devil of cancer. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out of their body. Come out. Come out of their spine. Come out of their liver. Come out of their prostate. Come out of their lungs. Come out of their stomachs. Come out of their brains. Come out, you devil, come out. Come out of their boots. I drive that devil of cancer out. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, the power of God is here, the power of God is here, the power of God is here, receive your miracle, don't wait for me or don't even ask me to pray for you right now, just say Lord I receive my healing, lay your hands on the part of your body where you need a miracle, the power of God is flowing. The power of God is flowing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive the touch of God. Receive the touch of God. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. You call it out. Whatever it is that you want God to heal you from. Call it out before the Lord right now. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you. We love you. We love you. The power of God is here. Shandala bara mana 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 bose. Yeah. The power of God. 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 The power of the Lord. The power of God, the power of God, the power of God, the power of God. Listen, someone's receiving a healing right on the top center part of your stomach, right below your chest, right in the center of the top part of your stomach. Someone is receiving a healing. Receive that right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive it right now someone's receiving a miracle of healing right on the top center part of your stomach the power of God is here receive your miracle right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh we love you Lord we love you Lord we love you Lord we love you we love you we love you we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. I rebuke cataracts. I rebuke glaucoma. Someone's eyesight is clearing up. Someone is receiving a healing in their eyes. Your eyesight is clearing up. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. The power of God is here. The power of God. If your body has been healed, 
Tell us what you have been healed from. Tell us how long you had that problem. Let us know if you were seeing a doctor because the power of God is here right now. The power of God is here right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you, Lord. 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 Receive your miracles. The power of God is here. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. 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 All to Jesus I surrender. Listen. The most important part of any service we have is when we throw the doors open to salvation. Praise God for people who receive a miracle of healing. But the greatest miracle is not the healing of sick bodies. The greatest miracle is when a soul that was on their way to hell finds Jesus. When a soul received forgiveness from their sins. I want you, if you know you are not right with God, if you are a sinner, and you say, Pastor Sean, I'm tired of running away from God. I'm tired of putting God off. I'm tired of playing games. I'm ready to surrender my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Sean, I'm ready to make things right with God. I'm ready to make it right with God. Lord Jesus, I want you to pray after me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in desperate need of forgiveness. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God. That you died on Calvary Cross for this old sinner, this old backslider. You died for me that I might receive forgiveness of sins. Jesus, wash me in your blood. Wash me. Wash me in your blood. I believe you are the Son of God. Wash me in your blood. Forgive me of my sins. From this day, I surrender. I make a clean break with the world, the flesh, and the devil. From this day forward, I'm going to serve you. Wash me in your blood. I belong to you from this day moving forward. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving me and washing me in your blood. I receive you into my life as Lord and Savior. Listen here, friend. If you prayed that prayer with me, I give myself away. If you prayed that prayer with me, your sins have been forgiven. I don't care what you did. Your sins have been forgiven. Pick it up, son. You're dragging it. Your sins have been forgiven. I said your sins have been forgiven. Welcome into the kingdom of God. You are now a child of God. On your way to heaven, the Bible says if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. If this is your first time surrendering your life to Jesus, or if you were a backslider and you just prayed that prayer and surrendered your life to Jesus, I want you to type in the chat right now and say, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. You see, Jesus said, if you be ashamed of him down here, 
I'll be ashamed of you when you stand before my father and the holy angels. Janus, welcome into the kingdom. I want you to type right now. I've just surrendered my life to Jesus because we want to give a shout out to you. We want to welcome you into the kingdom of God. Mighty God, mighty God. Come on, let us know that you just gave your heart to Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Come on. Tracy, God bless you. VT, God bless you. Mighty God, mighty God. I give myself away so you. God bless you, Isaac. God bless you, Alice. God bless you, Stanford. Mighty God, mighty God. Sing it. God bless you, Hope. God bless you, Gina. God bless you, Michelle. God bless you, Toya. God bless you, Winfred. God bless you, Butterfly. God bless you, Gloria. God bless you, Arnel. We love you, Lord. Shama, you're right. Your sins have been forgiven. Beverly, your sins have been forgiven. Fearfully and wonderfully made, your sins have been forgiven. Sing it. I give myself away. Tyrone, God bless you. Your sins have been forgiven. God bless you, Nancy. Mighty God, mighty God. God bless you. God bless you, Bellamy. Mighty God. God bless you, Lorraine. God bless you, Hilma. I give myself away. Lord, I give myself away. Sing it. I give myself away. God bless you, Margaret. God bless you, Kamara. God bless you, Ngozi. I give myself away. Mighty God, mighty God. I give myself away. God bless you, Yvette. God bless you. God bless you, Alicia. God bless you, Raquel. Mighty God, mighty God. God bless you. I give myself away so you. Mighty God, sing it, church. I give myself away. Come on, saints. Welcome these new believers into the kingdom. God bless you, Linda. God bless you. Amit, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Suave. Mighty God, mighty God. God bless you, Enos. I give myself away. So you. God bless you, Marcia. Look at the souls that's being saved. Look at the people coming to Jesus. Master said, I recommit myself. God bless you. I give myself away so you can use me. Come on, church. Welcome these new people. Welcome them into the kingdom of God. The Bible says that angels in heaven rejoice when one sinner gets saved. That's more than one person tonight. Heaven is rejoicing. I give myself away. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. God bless you, Cato. I give myself away. Souls are being saved. That's what it's about. At the end of the day, it's all about the salvation of souls. Jesus said, I come to seek and save that which was lost. God bless you, Gina. Mighty God, tonight, I give myself today. I give myself today and I give myself away. I give myself away. Come on and sing it to the Lord, church. I give myself. God bless you, JJ. God bless you, Melissa. Mighty God. We love you guys. Welcome into the family of God. Your sins have been forgiven. You are a child of God. 
on your way to heaven. Mighty God, mighty God, I give myself away. Heavenly McCain, welcome into the kingdom of God. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and sing it. I give myself away so you I give myself away oh we love you Lord I give myself away so you can use me we say yes sing it and we say yes come on and tell the Lord yes 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 Lord Yes, Lord, yes. Tell the Lord, yes. We say yes. We say yes. Yes, Lord. Listen. Listen. I want you to play that song, God Will Make a Way. I just want to say this. I'm about to receive the offering from, for tonight's service. Listen to me. The Apostle Paul, he said to the people that stood with him, the, the church at Philippi, they were the Apostle Paul's biggest supporters, just like many of you that's tuning into this broadcast. The Apostle Paul said, as a result of your faithfulness to God's kingdom, supporting God's work, the Apostle Paul said, God, I've received your giving and your offering as a sweet-smelling sacrifice, as a sweet aroma in his nostril. And he said in Philippians 4.19, But my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. The Holy Ghost interrupted me. Someone have just received a healing in their left shoulder. From right on the left side of your neck, all the way out to the tip of your shoulder. If you lift that left hand up and down, you'll notice that you're completely healed by the power of God. Don't you just love how God does his thing? You are being healed in your shoulders right now by the power of God. So the apostle Paul said, but my God shall supply, not some, but all of your needs according to his riches and glory. So I'm inviting you right now to visit us online and sow a seed into the ministry. Visit us online right now. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. Our ministry website is secured if you prefer to, to give in your donations through the ministry PayPal account. The address is paypal.me forward slash SeanPinderMinistries. PayPal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Or if you prefer to mail in your donations, make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries. P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas. 75011 7442. The P.O. Box is 117442, Carrollton, Texas. 75011 dash 7442 sow your seeds right now into the kingdom of God forever forever he is faithful he will make a road when you bear a heavy load I know God will make a way Come on and sing it to the Lord tonight. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Forever, sing it. Forever he is faithful. He will make a road when you bear a heavy load. I know God will make a way. 
sing it to the Lord tonight. Sing. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Forever. Sing it, church. Forever he is faithful. He will make a road when you bear a heavy load. I know God will make a way. Lord, bless your people tonight. Those who do not have it to give, but have a desire to support the work of God. Bless the work of their hands. Bring them to a position that they would be able to give. Bless them, God. Remember those who are struggling financially, that's carrying a heavy load. Make a way where there seems to be no way for them. Remember those who are faithful to stand with us as well, who consistently support the work of God. God, bless all of these people tonight beyond measure. You said in your word that when we bring our tithes and our offerings, that you will open unto us the windows of heaven and you will pour us out a blessing that we will not have room enough to receive. And you promise that you will rebuke the devourer for our sakes. You promise you'll make us the head and not the tail. Above all the and not beneath. The blessings of God will come on us and overtake us. Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer tonight. Bless your people in the name of Jesus. Saints of the Most High God. May heaven bless you. May the favor of God rest on you. May God's countenance shine on you. And may he give you peace. May he cause you to prosper in the name of Jesus. We love you guys. We appreciate you. We will see you again on Sunday night, 7 p.m. I'm not sure I'll do a broadcast Sunday night. I may just take a break. But if I do a broadcast, we'll send out the information and keep you guys updated. And to our wonderful partners, remember on Tuesday night, we are having our once a month partners prayer meeting online. It's by invitation only. So you partners, remember to check your email and look for that special link that we will send to you. God bless you. Me and Pastor Amy love all of you guys. We believe in you and we are here for you. We are believing God for your breakthrough, for your miracle, for your turnaround. You guys take care. We'll see you on Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And for you partners, we will see you Tuesday night, 7 p.m. I will have a special communion service with our partners this Tuesday. I feel like many of you have been under attack, but that attack is about to be broken by the power of God. We love you guys. Take care. See you again on Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Sing, God will make a way. God will make a way when there seems to be no way.